Hey, this is my how-to on how to import SO maps into BeamNG Drive. Now, here we are on part two, and we're going to be getting things ready for BeamNG Drive. Now, BeamNG Drive and SO is a lot different on how you spawn, so you'll get these little cubes here, and these are representing the spawn points for SO drivers. What I normally do is I just only click on one. I know what they're called now. They're EC pits. So I just highlight all of these here you can hold shift to select multiple and here we are we have all of them selected we also don't need ac time so you can just you can just eat all these like so now this is another important important step okay? we have to now find all of these trees right what i want to do is i just select a big area um this back bit can stay in with the trees because it is technically a tree so we're going to just go around and we're going to select all of them luckily this map's nice and easy and they're all joined together but most maps will not be like this um, okay so let's just I'm gonna move to a collection we're gonna set a new collection and we're gonna name this the new collision slash trees that's what they are okay and now we're going to hide the main collection for a second so as you can see that's hidden all that stuff below so now we can just check to make sure that we haven't got stuff that we do not want in the no collision area this is a very important step for beam because beam and collisions with trees is just not healthy so once you're very uh sure that you have no more stuff ready to uh into the tree section i'm going to just hide this area and we're going to go back to the main collection as you can see we missed a lot of the other stuff so what we're going to do is we are just going to go around again and select multiple bushes i'm going to right click move to collection and a non-collision trees and there we go look everything's gone now um i do recommend possibly putting guardrails as a no collision as we can do collisions in game but these may be good enough to not even need extra collisions here i would leave the cone i would probably put with a no collision but for now i'm gonna leave it because i don't know what the collision's like on that which you will have to test and you have to change it over to different stuff so what we're going to do before we leave here we're going to check the grass zero we're going to fix this lovely grass texture so we're going to change it to an image texture. We're going to go to our uh, texture and we're going to find our uh, 006. So as you can see, it's this one here. The opener. Bam! There is our grass. That's simple. That's how it is in a so. That's how it is in Blender. That's simple. Um, so that is part two done of getting the map ready. We can now, uh, what I normally do is I go control A, move to collection, new collection, and we're going to call this the base. This is what we're going to be driving on, you know? And then we can hide the other collection. Technically, we can remove the other collection because that is now no longer used. So we have our trees, which are going to be no collision. But as you can see, actually, I missed a little bit here. So we're going to move this collection to the base. And now it's gone. I don't know how I didn't see that last time. Now we are done for part two. We're going to move over on to part three. Leave a like and see you in part three.